In this section, we will discuss field wiring for lenses position servo drives. The 12 digital input signals of the position servo are grouped into three groups of four, each group having its own common. The I.O. can accept 5 to 24 volt DC signals, however, obviously all I.O. within a given group must be of the same voltage. It can often be difficult selecting components to wire the system. True high, true low, syncing, sourcing. The position servo allows users to wire the digital I.O. for either syncing or sourcing. This gives the user the greatest flexibility in choosing components for their system. Here we see the drive wired for PNP, or active high. Note the power flow. This wiring is still PNP and is also valid for position servo. Here we show the drive wired for NPN, or active low. Note the power flow. This configuration is also NPN and is valid for the position servo. The digital outputs of the position servo are open collector emitter. They can also be wired as either PNP or NPN. Here we show the wiring for PNP. Here we show the wiring for NPN. Analog input 1 is the command from your motion controller. This will be either a torque command or a velocity command. The position servo analog inputs can be wired for either single-ended or differential signals. You can program your analog output to pass through information back to the controller, speed or RMS current, for example. Here we show the wiring for a differential analog signal to the drive. This slide shows the wiring for a single-ended analog signal to the drive. 